Were you a difficult person to live with, do you think? Oh, yeah, bloody impossible, I should think. In what ways? Well, I like to go out and run around and be uh, flash, you know, and, and uh, show off, you know what I mean? So I'm quite at ease with the way I am, you know. I mean, whatever the reasons for it are, I'm quite happy with it. Because I don't mind being alone either, that's another funny thing. I suppose I'm used to it from from deep back in my childhood. Because you're right? an only child. Yeah, you know, and, and because my mother was at work, etc., I got used to being on my own. I used to, and when we were on the farm, there were no kids up there. We were three miles out of town, up a mountain, you know, there was, the bus service was atrocious, you know, so I used to just fool around in the fields all day with a couple of dogs, you know, I was quite happy. Always have been. So you think, in a way, that you prefer being on your own, really? Probably. It's uh, less stressful. How did that relationship end? Can you remember it? Oh, she fell in love and buggered off and got married. Immediately. Bang, like that. It's Which, kind of sudden. What, can you remember how you heard that she was going to do that? No, I heard she'd actually got married. It's the first you knew about it? Yeah, I heard somebody talking to somebody else. Registered surprise, you know. Was the relationship over at that point? <laughs> Obviously. From your <laughs> point of view, though? Uh, no, I, I tried to get her back for quite a while, but it, she wouldn't come, so I gave up. As, as you might as well do. What sort of things did you do to try and get her back? Oh, you know, called her up. Jumped all over her when she was within 20 yards of me and said, Oh, Christ, why don't you come back? You know, things like that, but it never worked, really. I don't think you can ever repair relationships, anyway. It's always, uh, there's always the th reason you broke up in the first place underlying it. Can you think of an instance of that? Like what, a place where you were where somebody came in and did that? Oh, yeah. Um, Can you describe it? Beaumont, Texas. She came through the door, she said, I've been waiting for you to come to town for four years and you're coming home tonight with me to my house. I said, that's it, let's go. What did she look like? Ravishing. What do you think? I don't know. To have that sort of confidence, you must look good. And so you I mean, went it back... didn't enter her mind at all that I would have anything better to do that night, right? She was quite certain that she had the class to carry it straight through and out the other side, you know. And she was right. But, I mean, if I try and imagine that, you know, I'd, I'd feel a bit uncomfortable about that. I mean, so then you went back to her house. Yeah. And what happened there? Did she give you a drink, or did she immediately take all her clothes off? Or? Oh, she took her clothes off first, I think, then we had a drink. Well, you know, I mean, what, I don't know what you do in bedrooms with people, but I don't always remember the exact sequence. But, I mean, did you feel... <laughs> <laughs> but is, what, I'm, what I'm asking is... What, I mean, were, you just, were you with a person, in a sense, or with a beautiful body? Both. I mean, I talk to them, you know. I mean, I, I don't just go, oh, thank you, throw them away again. There's a certain amount of chit-chat. You know, the weather, the stocks and shares, that sort of thing. But, and out of that chit-chat, if, if you think back to this time in Texas, can you remember anything at all about what she said to you? No. Can you remember anything at all about who she thought you were in her mind? She'd waited four years to do this with you. She thought I was that fellow she'd been waiting four years for at a motorhead, I suppose, you know, what? So you were a fiction in her mind? Until Not anymore. I was now a fact. And you, did you find that exciting? Marginally, not especially. Is it more exciting? Flattering more than exciting. That anybody would say that, but she could have just been saying that anyway. You know, it could have been just claptrap. Maybe she says that to every guy that comes through town, I don't know. She was enjoying herself, I was enjoying herself. I don't look for hidden meanings in these things, you see. I'm, I'm afraid I'm a very shallow enjoyment level person. But it's, it's... There's always somebody there. I didn't feel deprived at all. Somebody there, but not somebody who was really giving you what you needed. What do you think I needed? What do you think a small child needs? I really don't know. I've never had any of my own. You haven't any children? Yeah, I have two, but I never saw the first one. And uh, the second one I didn't see till he was six. 
So the very small stage I've never been through. I've never changed nappies, you know. How is that that you never Thank saw them? Thank God, yeah. How, how is it that you never saw them if you had children? You, what you got? Well, the first one was adopted at birth because his mother was 15. Most embarrassing all round. And the second one was um, his mother became pregnant and uh, sort of went away and then came back and introduced him to me when he was six. Did you feel a desire to try and sort of find the mother and to go and sort of try and be like a father? No. To be quite honest, no. I was, I was doing all kinds of busy stuff with bands and things. I was all over the country, you know. I mean, I'd, she wasn't telling me where she was. Where am I going to go? Go and walk the streets of Liverpool looking for her? No. I didn't have a home address, etc. you know. Why did she disappear? Why didn't she come and...? No, you'll have to ask her that one, won't you? You can't ask me that one. Isn't... Do you think the fact that your father shoved off when you were three months old, do you think... I mean, after, you know, in other words, exactly the same has happened to your son as yeah. was done to you. He's turned out very much like me, as it happens, yeah. <coughs> he has hair down to his ass and he plays guitar, you know. Would you say that you love anybody deep down? Yeah. Who? That is not an answer for you. That's for me. It's got to be your mother. That's not for you to know. Obviously, I love my mother. Kids who are assaulted by their own parents love their parents. That's not um, the same kind of love. I suppose a, the, the thought might be that you, that, you know, you love your mother so much that it's very difficult for you to get involved with anyone else. I was never close to her that way. I, never, I never lived with her after I was 16, 17. So I was never um, a homebody mother's boy. I was never dominated by my mother. I was just guided by my mother. And her beliefs seemed to me to be worthwhile. Therefore, I've lived my life according to them. That is just guidance, which is good guidance. I don't believe that that makes you dependent or a, a mother's boy. I always had the intelligence to work out what was the right thing anyway. And I found out that everything she told me had been right. So it Therefore, sounds like your mother was, was a very intelligent, strong woman. A very unusual woman. But something has made you what you called yourself at the beginning as being quite cold, I think was the word you used. Hmm. But that's possibly an offshoot of a self-sufficiency, wouldn't you say, as well? But might not the self-sufficiency be... An offshoot of that, you see. ...really a fear of being let down? Oh, sure, it could be. It could just be an egomaniac thing, it could just be arrogance, who knows? You know, you can't... I can't go back all the way the, the way you seem to want to, because I don't think that you can ever arrive at anything. All you can have is hypotheses, which is all very well, you know, and it makes very good television, but, like, it doesn't always achieve anything. I, I don't mind being alone, for whatever reasons, and I believe that I'm doing the best I can in my life and not hurting anybody doing it, and that's enough for me. <laughs>